Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rianne, and today is day three of my five days of faves. Is it day three? <laughs> yeah, day three. Day three. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about my fashion favorites of the last year. If you have not seen the previous two days in this series, I will link them down below, and I will also hopefully see you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Everything I'm going to show you or mention will be linked unless it did in the description box down below, along with any discounts I can find. Let's look at some stuff. Now, you guys know that I love bags. I love bags a lot. So I have shown you a lot of bags, but when I was thinking about what I wanted to be in this video bag-wise, there was one that came to mind, which is the Angela Roy mini bucket. I'm gonna show you on this side so you still get to see the tree. <laughs> now they do now have this bag without the R on it. You can get it without. I got this before that was an option, I think, or I don't know what happened, but R for Rianne, it's all good. As with all of her bags, of course, they are super well made. They're beautifully designed. And the reason I like this one is because it's kind of a smaller version of one of those bags that you can just chuck everything in. So there is a ton of space in there. I like that it is all one compartment. Sometimes that's like what I prefer, but I do like that it is still a pretty compact size. So so although it is one that I can throw stuff in and carry a fair amount in, it's never going to get too heavy because it is little. I do just carry it with this strap on it, I think. Did it come with a longer strap? I'm pretty sure it did, but I can wear this on my arm pretty easily and it's just been a really good bag that I go back to again and again. And I think it's a great everyday one that probably a lot of people would enjoy. So if you are looking for a bag kind of this style, like an everyday one that you can fit a lot in, but also is not going to get over overloaded, overladen. <laughs> I don't know. I would really recommend checking this one out and like I said it does come without the R on it and I do think it comes in different colours as well. The next thing I'm going to talk about which is also one I get asked about a lot which are the hoops that I wear. So the ones I have in now I also have a bigger size of and those are from Free People. I will do my best to link them below if I can still find them. <laughs> I have a tangle. Please hold. And then the other hoops people ask about a lot are from Jenny Bird. So they're just a big um, gold hoop. Please excuse me. Amateur. They're just a big gold hoop with a little ball on the front. So it kind of looks like a stud with a hoop coming out of it. This is the large size and they do have an extra large, which is like even bigger, obviously. And I kind of want those too. I think they have them in silver as well and you can also get them with like mixed metals I'm pretty sure. I've been like thinking to myself, I don't even think out loud and I don't think I'd even googled it, that I wanted some like slightly nicer quality um, gold hoops because I did wear them so much. And then Instagram ads suggested Jenny Bird to me and these hoops and I was like, you are in my brain. Thank you. These are perfect. So yeah, really enjoyed these and they are one I get asked about a lot. They're just really nice little gold hoops. And like I said, they come in different colors. And I think you can also get ones where the ball is a like star or a lightning bolt. <laughs> and I like hoops so much that I even did a video on the power of the hoop. So I will uh, link that down below. <laughs> I really need to do another uh, episode in that series. The next one, uh, strangely, is a pair of jeans. I hate jeans. I try and do everything I can not to wear them. Um, but the ones I love are from Siwi and they are the Felicity style, which I have on now. Ugh, I'm trying to... <laughs> How do I show you? This chair is from Ikea and I'm about to step on it. Keep me in your prayers. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. 10 out of 10 YouTuber, Rianne. They're just black skinny jeans. They, um, they just have a seam on the inside. There's not one on the out. Okay, I'm just, I gotta get it down. The style is Felicity. They are a black skinny jean. They are super soft, um, and kind of stretchy, but they just, like, keep their shape nicely. I'm not sure you can even see any detail because of the lighting right now, but and they're like a great kind of everyday, comfortable jean that is as close to a pair of leggings as I think you're gonna get. These are in no order other than how I've written them down in my phone. So we're going to be jumping back and forth between clothing accessories. Another favorite I have is my Majuri Aries Signet. I think it's a Signet ring, right? I had been looking for a ring in this kind of style with like the flat face. I'm pretty sure it's called a Signet ring. For a while. And then I saw it on the Majuri Instagram and was like, that is perfect. So I think my mother-in-law actually got this for me. I'd had my eye on it for a while and I just love it. I think it's super chic. I love that it has just like the little star details for the Aries uh, constellation. Is that right? I love this ring. I wear it a lot. I get a lot of questions on it and um, yes. 
The next favourite, I have some from Mia Coda, obviously. I'm actually wearing one of the scrunchies right now, but the favourite I wanted to mention is this top, which is their bra me. A lot of you will know I love the um, free people ones that have like the skinnier strap, but they just don't like wash or wear that well. The straps sometimes break, but these straps still pretty thin, but just a little bit more um, <clears throat> wear friendly. They actually can hold the weight of boobs. And then it has just like a little ruche detail in the middle. They have them in different colors. Mia Coda are a vegan and ethically made line, so I really love them. And I have been wearing this top a lot. I have a bunch of colors in them and I just think they're perfect. Um, the size I have, I think is an extra small, small. I usually wear it without a bra, but I get a lot of questions as to like, can you wear it with um, a bra or a strapless bra? I do have a strapless bra now and I like it. I just think it's something that you can either wear like to work out in or you can wear a nice pair of jeans, some jewelry, wear it out and it's a really like versatile thing to have in your closet. The other Mia Coda favor I have for this year have been their shorts. So they did previously have like a soft legging which I still have and wear all the time and then they came out with a line of full length leggings like a three quarter length legging and then the shorts in this slightly more athletic fabric but it's still super soft, breathable, feels really comfortable to wear and you get a little different phase of the moon on the back depending which length you're wearing. They're a good length that they are short shorts but they're not gonna go like up your butt type of short shorts, you know what I mean? They're like, I don't know, they're just perfect, okay? I would lounge around in them, I would like wear them to run errands, I would wear them to work out in if that was something that I did, and I love them. How did I not bring a drink down here with me? I feel like now I've noticed that, I'm gonna get really thirsty. And then I do have two shoe favorites, which I'm just gonna show you in cutaways because I feel like it will be easier for you to see what they really look like on a foot versus me holding them. And I also didn't want to hold my winter boot up for you. So one is the Native Footwear. I think it's the Jimmy 3.0. It's their most wintry boot. Super comfortable, feel like they're really sturdy and well made and I just think they're gonna be like my winter boot for the next few years. So highly recommend checking them out if you were looking for a vegan winter boot that is a little bit more hard wearing and actually gonna survive the winter versus like a fake winter boot, you know? So really love them. And then also there was a collab that Beth Richards uh, Swimwear did with Native, which were their flip-flops. You get one black, one white, and it says make waves on them. I wore them a lot in the summer and also I wear them in the winter. <laughs> I feel like those two shoe options really represent my style of footwear that I wear most often. A boot or a slide. My next favorite of the past year has been the ENA Apparel Velvet Stuff. So I have both the uh, leggings, well the shorts and the bell bottom. I love all of them. I just think that the legging is super cute, it adds like a nice little bit of interest to an otherwise pretty basic outfit. The bell bottoms are also really nice and make your butt look. <laughs> delightful and truly I did not realize that I needed crushed velvet until I tried on these pieces and I was like how have I lived this long without it? So you can watch the videos I made with ENA Apparel if you want to see them like on or see what I paired them with. Add a little bit of interest, but still like a basic piece that you can pair with a lot of different things. Another favorite that I did discover kind of later on in the year, but as soon as I touched them with my paws, I knew. And that is the Veganized World sweatshirts and hoodies. I did a giveaway with them. I also mentioned them in my recent vegan fashion brands you need to know video. And they're just delightful. They're like punny, vegan, soft, slouchy things that probably everybody needs. So I have this black cropped sweatshirt that I wear a lot. Feels like a cloud. And then I'm also really loving this tofueled olive green hoodie, cropped hoodie. Love them. You can get things cropped or regular and I love them as a brand. I think they're very fun and they make a lot of puns. Another favorite <laughs> that's kind of been a more general one is to customize thrift store basics. So obviously I have been trying to be better about shopping more ethically, shopping with ethical brands when possible or just not ordering a ton of things and making sure that the things I do buy are things I'm gonna love and really enjoy. And part of that has also been thrifting a little more. So these are just things that I found locally and even just to look at them on the shelf, they maybe didn't look like things that I would ordinarily wear, but just with a little imagination, cropping things, for example, you can kind of give it a whole new lease of life. So this is one like strange ribbed, it was like a grandpa thick t-shirt that I bought and then I cropped it. Love it, looks great. 
And then I just got a couple of like basic t-shirts and cropped them at different lengths. And it's just really nice to kind of like layer them, add a little bit of interest again to a pretty basic, comfortable outfit. And um, I would really recommend doing that. If you are looking for kind of like cute crops and stuff, go to the thrift store, find cute t-shirts and just like adapt them or adjust them to suit you. It's also really easy to like take t-shirts in if they're too wide or if you want to make other simple alterations. That stuff can be really easy to figure out and I'm sure there is lots of um, tutorials here on YouTube as to how to customize things. I do have a sewing machine so um, sometimes I will crack that out if I like have a burst of inspiration but also you can like hand sew um, some things or even just like glue them or there's like lots of things you can do so customizing thrift store basics has been my favorite for the year. And then another favorite again that I discovered at the end of this year, which I will put an image of in now because it's a big item, it's gonna be hard for me to show you, is this teddy bear coat I got from Lulu's. So I had been looking for one for a while and I just hadn't really found like the right color or the right style or something that actually felt like it would be warm until I found this one. It is perfect. Lulu's are a brand that I kind of like to um, shop with because they make it so easy to shop for vegan things. So if that is also your concern, I would highly recommend checking out Lulu's and checking their like vegan shoe section or just typing in vegan and it will show you all of their options. So I love that teddy bear coat. <laughs> it's like a hug. And then the last favorite that I wanted to show you are my glasses. This is something I get a lot of questions on. I did do a video fairly recently with Glasses USA where I picked these ones out. So I will link that if you want to check out some other frames I got from them. I don't, is there a discount on that video? I can't remember. Anyway, these are the two frames that I get asked most about. Uh, they're both dirty. And I have contacts in right now, so I'm not going to be able to see with them on. But this is one pair. Oh, wow. Uh, instant headache. Super big and chunky, kind of clear frames, but they have a pink tint to them. I also have a pair that has like a sort of like a cream tint to it. Love that style. Nice and big. That's the other thing is I have a big head. So um, I love their website because you can shop by like frame size, like extra large or whatever. And then I also got these, which are a new style for me. I think they're very cute. A little bit different. I always thought like, oh, I can't wear that style. It won't suit me. And then I thought, <laughs> okay. These are definitely two frames I get asked about a lot. They're ones I wear all the time. And so I wanted to let you guys know they are from Glasses USA. I will try and link the frames below and they are prescription. I would love to be in a position where I bought um, non-prescription glasses and could wear them. <laughs> Can you imagine? So that is it for this video. Obviously, like I said, I've been trying to shop a bit more ethically, buy less, kind of um, reinvent things a little bit. And so there wasn't a ton in this video, but hopefully what I did show you was helpful in some way. I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorite fashion items of the last year have been or any ethical brands or kind of like tricks and tips you have. I will meet you down there. Everything I mentioned will be listed in the description box below, like I said, along with any discounts or other videos I've featured things in. All my social media will be on the end screen to come and I will see you in tomorrow's episode of five days of faves love you bye